and welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie. I hope you can see me because it's so bright out here and I can't even see the screen. But if you can't, I guess you're getting a shadow reading today. I just want to be outside because it's so nice. It's not raining. It's like 60 something. And for central New York, that's pretty big. So again, we're going in with the collective. Again, I'm sorry if I'm squinting. I feel like the sun's like right in my eyeball. Where to start? Let's go to the Wisdom of the Oracle, see what's going on. Sorry if it's really loud. It's about that time everyone's getting out of work. My mom, this is my mom's house. She lives on a busy street. So, hopefully you can hear me good. <laughs> okay. We have Imagine and a Loyal Heart. Ooh. Okay, so... <laughs> and divine timing at play here. So something, this is like wish fulfillment. I don't know if you can see this card. I feel like this is love again, guys. We've got divine timing at play here with serendipity and the TikTok. Loyal heart. So imagine a loyal heart. This is either someone you're picturing for a love interest or this is just like a type that you would like. But divine timing is coming in for this love interest. Tell me about this imagined spirit. Time to go. Ooh. Okay, so some of you out there in the collective are with someone. Um, you're thinking about what it would be like to be loved correctly. Um, they might have been disloyal to you in some way. Because we have loyal hearts. Like you want somebody who's loyal to you, who treats you good, um, and you're walking away from anyone that doesn't do that. Maybe you're you're realizing it's time to go towards a new love interest. You might have something in mind. Or again, this is just a type. Explain to me this loyal heart spirit. Blessed. Woo! You're going to be blessed because you have a loyal heart, especially to the divine or whatever faith you believe in. You're a good person. And you don't deserve to be treated this way. So spirit is coming in to save the day with this divine timing. What's this TikTok about? You're feeling a time rush. Like the time is now for a change. Whatever aspect that is in the love department. Um, you're feeling it. And I feel like you're going to get that second wind. You're going to get that gusto to go for something here. We have serendipity. Even if it's just walking out and choosing yourself, that's still a, a difficult choice for people to make. Yeah, you're between worlds right now. You're half in your past, half in your new cycle here. And it's time to end one. It's like you need to pick one, which I think you will be doing. Let's get some Zodiac. We got a full moon in Aries this week. Um, full moon in Aries is very powerful for manifesting change in your life or going after something Let's see what zodiac comes up for you I might do another reading later I just wanted to do one outside before I go walk my dog and before anyone gets home for the day I go in earlier but I get out a little bit before my brother so we have Sagittarius and Scorpio here so we got fire and water Uranus and Pisces. Lots of water here. You have deep emotions for something. This could be deep emotions for yourself. Like as you're saying, I deserve better. This isn't my one. I'm going to love myself. Or this is deep feelings for another partner that you're not with. Or again, it could be a type. I, I want this kind of lover, not this one. It could be that as well. Uranus, this is something very difficult, very stubborn impatience here Scorpio is keeping things to yourself wearing a mask being a little bit two-faced but I, th I think it's something you have to do with this eight because eight is eternal eternity um, maybe you're just keeping your pieces close to your chest until you decide what to do here but again you have deep emotions for something you might be going towards a creative endeavor as well with this Pisces Sagittarius to me, this is like fighting for yourself. I choose me. I'm not going to tolerate this anymore. 
works. This is what your energy you're you're coming into in the Aries moon, which is good. That's how you get shit done. <laughs> All right. Anything else coming in for? Oh, we have Neptune and Moon. Yeah, full moon coming in Aries. Neptune, going back to your roots. Dreaming. Are you getting downloads in your sleep? Are you dreaming about a lover here? Ooh, Gemini. As I said, lover. That's a lover's card. So yeah, you're dreaming about a love interest. This could be a twin flame past life. Or you could have Gemini in your chart. Be a Gemini. Taurus. Earth energy coming on the table. Again with that stubbornness with this Uranus. Stubborn. Not budging. <laughs> And today is the end of Mercury retrograde and Mercury fell on the ground. So this is the end of the lessons you need to learn. Now it's about action with this Aries moon. You've made a decision. Now you're going for it. Good for you. <laughs> Look at that. Aries coming out. Yeah, this moon's going to be powerful. And Venus, this is about love. You're going towards a love interest here. And you're keeping that to yourself with this moon energy. Woo! Lots of sneaky love readings lately. All right. Let's go to what's your, oh, the Sacred Soul Oracle. This says, what's your soul creating? Right now, a tarot reading. <laughs> All right. The Sacred Creator Oracle. What's going on for the collective in this reading? Fierce Serenity. Yes. And with this lion in the background, again, I don't know if you can see it. If it's all dark for you, it's all dark for me. But again, another eight. This is something meant. This is like a divine partner. Somebody who gives you great peace. Success and transformation. Yes. Boo-boo's out there. You've worked hard this Mercury retrograde. You've transformed a lot. You've gone through a lot. Stop dropping ground. But right now, you're preparing with this Aries moon. You're putting your boots on, but right now it's all about taking a minute for yourself. You got 13, then 31. So you're mirroring this love interest. You are light. You're a light worker. You're going towards your life purpose here, which is good. Good for you, collective. I'm a light worker as well. Welcome to the club. We need you in this dark world that we are in. Oh, let me just say, it feels good to not have a mask on. I have to wear one all day. I just got home and it, well, I rip it off when I walk out of work, but I still feel like I'm wearing it. <laughs> Can't wait until it's over. Unstick the stuck. Yes, you've been in stuck energy. Whether it's you being stubborn and not wanting to move on or literally being stuck in something that has kind of held you up here, that's becoming unstuck with this Aries moon. Shift the way to new potential. Yes, this is you putting your boots on going for it no more thinking about it no more wanting a change now you're doing it raw intention yes you're planting those seeds you're putting forward actions instead of just wanting change you're you're going out to get that change fill your cup up with sacred giggles you need to spirits like you need again with another eight i don't know if you can see that Right now, you just need to chill, gather the courage, laugh, raise those vibrations. That Aries moon is going to come in strong. You're going to maybe get some answers, know what to do here. Maybe you're coming in to surprise someone on the Aries moon. Or someone could be coming in to surprise you. Make a mission statement for your soul. Look at you. Like, this is my life purpose. Or this is the one I want and I'm going for it. No more questioning. No more trying to make sense to your soul, your soul shines. Why can't I speak? Yeah, this is destined. You're starting a whole new cycle. And it, I mean, it's been kicking off through this whole Mercury, Mercury retrograde. Um, that part of it was learning those life lessons and making a decision. Now you made a decision and this Aries moon is about going to get yours. Whether it be a person or a job. Something you love. Something you're passionate about. Moving on to the Awakened Soul. Grounding. Song. And release. Yes. 
That's what you're doing. And I feel like you're in prepare mode, like making a plan. But you know something's coming. You're planning something. So whether you're doing it in secret or not, you're collecting that energy, the gumption that you need. Song, this is like meditating, really trying to figure out what you want here, what you need. And you're releasing either a toxic karmic partner or those negative thoughts that were holding you back. Yes, new cycle with this rebirth. I'm telling you, something great is coming for you. Like Mercury retrograde was a bit rough. It was severely rough for me, so I feel you out there. Now change is coming in. All that hard work is about to pay off. So hang in there. Yep. Trust that wisdom that you've gained through this Mercury retrograde. Ooh, and you're going to be getting a leg up. You're going to be getting some help. And I have a feeling it's from Spirit. Aww. Facing your shadow side, facing the you're getting help facing the hard parts of yourself, facing your fear. I feel like fear is a big roadblock for you. You're nervous, you're scared about something. All normal. You just gotta take that leap. Yes, you're sitting in solitude, you're keeping to yourself, you're keeping this to yourself, you're not telling anyone about it. But you're about to take leadership with this Aries moon. You're going for something. I'm excited for you. Yeah, something you've had visions about. Something you're being intuitively pulled to. Again, this could be a person just wanted to pop. You could be a tarot card reader. For some of you, I feel like you're, maybe your channel is going to take off. Or you're going to be getting the answers you need in some kind of tarot reading around the Aries moon. Yes, Spirit's saying you need to have some fun. Laugh, lighten up. Hang with people that are good for you. Get away from toxicity, and you're gonna you're gonna navigate yourself through this just fine. I think that fear makes you question yourself. Don't follow that intuition. You've been following it through this whole Mercury retrograde, and it's gonna work out for you. I promise. All right, so ooh, hello house. <laughs> this table is so cute, by the way. It's mosaic. All different blues. My mom's cute. She got all of her yard stuff put away though because snow's coming unfortunately. No! I hope that I just hope it stays nice for the kids for Halloween. Because we've had some real shitty Halloweens the last couple years. Alright, light seers, Tara, what's going on with the collective? <laughs> the lovers came right up again with Gemini energy. Twins. Twin flames. You're going towards your twin flame. Yes, those seeds that you've been planting through this whole Mercury retrograde and probably through this year or maybe many years. It could be a long time, but they're starting to sprout. You're getting what you need here. The love is growing. And yourself and for this person. You're about to take a shot with this Aries moon. Maybe you're reaching out to communicate. Maybe you're going to go visit them tower moment you could be leaving an ex you might not be coming like going towards a lover here for some of you you could be getting out of a relationship through this aries moon to prepare for a new lover that's for some of you and for some of you you're going towards a new love interest that's going to change your life either way whether you're leaving a karmic or you're going towards a love interest it's going to be groundbreaking you're going to be standing in your power especially in creative endeavors here and you're walking away from something here. Something that doesn't serve you anymore. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Yeah. You're ending one relationship for another. Or ending a new cycle for another. It doesn't have to be about love. But I feel like for a majority of you. It, majority of you it is. It could be about a job. Like leaving a shitty job for a good one. A job that you love. It could be a passion project. But this is something in the heart space. You've had great pain without this. You've been suffering. Tell me more about this. Oh. Facing a lot of adversity. You just want to be a free spirit. You've been tied down, held down. Almost. Whether even if it's like you imprisoning yourself in your mind. Or I just feel like you've been in stuck energy for a bit. You're about to reap the rewards. One specific spiritual seed. 
Um, this is, to me, this is spiritual communication. You could get this answer from spirit, but I feel like this is a spiritual connection or a spiritual purpose. You're looking towards the future. You're not trying to look back anymore. All the pain of Mercury retrograde is behind you. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. I'm getting a few things. You've been maturing. This has been a long time coming. A long, long time. You're going to be exchanging either... This is you exchanging your feelings or this is you getting what you need to get out of your stuck situation. To go towards something that's really going to be fulfilling for you in your life. Especially if it's a love. Ugh. Page of Swords. You could be learning um, or writing. You could be literally writing a book. You could be learning about your love interest. You could be trying to figure out a, the right way of doing it. I'm going to pause this to go get all these cards. One second. Okay, all these cards are on the floor. We have King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, something grounding here. It's like you're coming out of chaos, whether it's a chaotic relationship for a balanced one, or this is you just um, choosing yourself and, and being single and balanced. For some of you, <laughs> I'm being pulled to this dog. You might be getting a new dog for some of you. This is about a partnership here, a divine partnership. But you have so much anxiety and stress <laughs> about how this is all going to work out. You're trying to manifest it though. I do feel like you're trying to manifest a person either back into your life or manifest the answers you need. You're waiting for something to come in here. Maybe you're waiting for a lover to come back. You're very defensive of this, whether it's a passion project or a person. Oh my God, we have King of Wands, Queen of Wands. For sure, this is a twin flame. This is somebody who is like your muse, very creative, very loving the world yes starting a new cycle towards this creative maybe you're going to be a love interest and do a creative endeavor judgment's coming down that's that tower moment if you're with someone and they're toxic that's spirit kicking them out of your life what i have tape and glue all over my hands sorry i literally just got home from work five of cups yeah this has been stuck stagnant energy you've been waiting for like I think you've been beating yourself up. Maybe you d thought you deserved bad love, but now you're spiritually awakening and you're choosing yourself and you're realizing you want your divine partner here. There's a lot of illusions. You're keeping a, a lot of your feelings to yourself. You're not telling anyone. Tell me more about this moon. Why aren't you telling anyone? The hanged man. You can't move right now. There's Either you're in a relationship, you could be trying to get a divorce, you could be trying to move. Something is stopping your movement forward. And this is you keeping your feelings to yourself. Maybe that person doesn't know how you feel. Tell me more about this hanged man. Ah. <laughs> Wish fulfillment, happiness. Like, you know you're going to go after this person thing. You know it. It's just you can't physically do it right this second. But you're you're coming. You're just waiting for the right moment. Maybe you're, you are waiting for your ship to come in in these cards. So maybe you're waiting for something. It could be money. It could be a sign. But you do see wish fulfillment with something or someone. Also, if you don't have anyone in mind, this could be dreaming of the perfect relationship in your eyes. Look at you running towards something when you can. Queen of Swords energy, bottom of the deck. You're making some cuts. Because you want to come running after this wish fulfillment. Close it out. We'll do three more cards. Ooh, two of Swords. You're juggling. It's like you want to be out of this energy and you want to be with the one that makes you happy and you're just kind of stuck and stagnant and it's giving you a lot of stress and anxiety. Queen of Swords popped up again. This is the energy you're in. If you don't make me happy, I don't want you. And good for you. If they don't make you happy, they hurt you. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Richard. <laughs> Sorry if your names are Felicia and Richard. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel bad. Um, Ace of Wands is like fast movement. So when you're able to run towards this thing, you're really going to. This could be communication coming in fast too. Change coming in fast. The wheel just flew across. So yeah, new cycle starting. The wheel's turning in your favor. Ooh, these cards are popping today. Yep, you're moving on. You could be literally moving. You're trying to make the right choice. So you are still a little bit in planning mode. But this is, again, the wish fulfillment. You have ten of cups and ten of pentacles. So this is um, happy love life, happy money life. I do feel like you're going to be partnering with someone. Um, you're gaining that strength to do what you need to do. You're going towards peace and getting away from this toxic devil energy. It's like one love interest is the devil and one <laughs> love interest is peace. This is... Out of darkness comes life. Light. I didn't even mean to say that. So maybe your life force is sinking because you're with somebody very toxic. Literally the devil. Somebody who, like an energy vampire. And then there's one that just fills you up with light. So you're trading the dark for the light. Good for you. And again, it's going to happen rather quickly. Queen of Cups. This is somebody who's going to nurture you. And, and take good care of you. Not that anybody needs to be taken care of, but it's nice. This is someone you're eventually going to marry one day. But you're still juggling. The Hierophant to me and the Queen of Cups, this could be someone who's very spiritual or a spiritual teacher as well. And it's like you're still going back and forth. Maybe be, the Hierophant is because you're married. Like you're half in your marriage, half out. Or long term. Doesn't have to be married. Woo, you're about to get uh, public recognition or something's going to happen to you on a public scale. Three of Cups. This is about a work relationship. I feel like a work relationship and a love relationship. But maybe you're going to be a public eye couple. I don't know why I'm getting that so much lately. Whoever you are, hello. Welcome to my page. Say hi if you're famous. Well, I guess you don't want to cause attention to yourself, so I get it. But thanks for watching. And even if you're not famous, equally thanks for watching. You don't have to be like, talk to me in the comments if you're not famous. I still want to hear <laughs> about you. <laughs> but I just get this a lot. This Three of Cups and Six of Wands to me is like a celebr collaboration. Oh my God, I'm being blinded by the light and I like it. Nine of Wands, you're setting, you're, you're setting these boundaries and you're not going backwards. Although you might be a little bit stuck right now, you're done. Yeah, you're daydreaming about what life is going to be like, but you still have a lot of pain you're dealing with. I feel like you might be transmuting that through the Aries moon as well. Releasing a lot of this burden and this pain. Woo. You're about to start a new journey. Journey of love. Whether this is loving yourself, loving, like you could be going after, like this if love isn't resonating, you could have a talent and something you are very passionate about. Like maybe you're a good singer and you want to go see what it's going to, if you could make it as a singer. It could be that too. It's a passion project or a passion for a person. Jesus. <laughs> yep. You're gaining what you need right now to move on. And the emperor on the bottom of the deck. You're standing in your power. Masculine energy. Female or not, you're embracing. Or male or female or not, you're embracing the masculine energy. Remember I said, every person has both feminine and masculine energies. Spiritual people know how to balance the two. And I feel like you're learning that a lot. So you're in that masculine, putting my boots on. Which I feel like... I'm even in masculine energy with this Aries moon. I just feel like it's the moon. I'm <laughs> putting us all in grr mode, if you will. I'm, I'm not done with my fight yet either, but hopefully by the end of this Aries moon, I will have some clarity, and I feel like you will as well. Clarity is coming for all of us in this Aries moon, so pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities, and how you feel. I hope you like this reading. I'll see you all next time. Love and light. Bye.